Welcome to the next video on the channel. Today is a conversation about 762 by 39 available on the US market, at least some of them. Obviously, there are many brands or <laughs> real labelers, importers and whatnot. Today, as you can see on the table, I have a small variety of 762 by 39 imported by Century Arms is a red army they also have a red box this is a white box second box i don't need i purchased this at the local gun store if anybody needs them some of them are available still some of them are not things change wolf regular black box wolf notice no manufacturer label or mark on either of those two boxes um, this is a sign of a government testing laboratory in Russia and you can see it is the same on both so this is Russian ammo and also a while earlier I purchased hollow points by Wolf Polyformans these are Barnaul BPZ is the mark of Barnaul factory BPZ uh, in Russian is Barnaulsky Patronny Zavod Barnaul Ammo Factory so there is no point of opening it we already know this is Barnaul Wolf Military Classic also has full labels on the back this is also Barnaul made in Russia and whatnot so the question is, who makes these two? So let's take a look. And we can also compare some of this ammo. So one at a time. And keep them on the proper level. They look the same. They're both 122 grain FMJs. However, as you can see on the back, the Wolf branded ammunition has red lacquer around the primer. This one is actually, I don't know if I can make you see it clearer or not. This is made by Tula. It actually says Tool Ammo. 762 by 39 and has some kind of a mark next to it. I cannot see what that little mark is. But it doesn't matter. So, Red Army is Tula. Now, the question is, what is Wolf? Let's take a look at the, at the bottom. Yeah, I have 50 round, caliber rounds rolling around my table. Those are empty. What it says on the back is Wolf 762 by 39. I'm using magnifier, magnifying glass with a light to see it. Very useful, by the way. Especially since my eyesight is deteriorating. So this has a potential of being either Tula or Barnaul. Judging that it is different from Tula, as you can see, most likely it is Barnaul. Though it could be a better level Tula. Anybody can guess on this one. I would not be able to tell you. Even the people in Russia could not tell me the difference. So if you buy Wolf Black Box and it doesn't have a label, it can be either Tula or Barnaul. However, if you buy White Box Red Army, it is definitely Tula. Is it bad? No. They're usable ammunition. None of the ammo coming on military basic calibers is prime match ammunition but it is still more than usable 
for the purposes of using them in the AKs. And if you want to hunt, buy hollow points. Of course, um, Barnaul has right now its own company in the US, importer. So you're not gonna see them in Wolf much longer. They have their own green and some other color boxes. But Wolf still imports Barnaul ammo. That should be enough for now. There are other brands that are repackaging Russian-made ammo. Some of them are from Wimpel, some of them are from Novosibirsk factory. I don't know. I don't have that kind of ammo. I don't go to the stores, I buy everything online. With a few exceptions, I go to the local gun stores, not the big chains. So hopefully this helps in identifying what kind of ammo you're getting. Other than that, Barnaul is better quality than Tula in most cases, but it's still quite usable. Thank you for watching. Until the next video, let me know if this kind of topics is interesting to you. Because, for example, I also know who makes some of the 223s from Russia. Black boxes are made by Tula. Military classic are made by Barnaul. That can be covered in another video. Talk to you later. And practice. And keep practical.